Hello there and welcome to Gear to People. Today we're going to show you how to set up a tripod. Listen up the legs of the tripod. Turn in the screw anti-clockwise. Take the legs out by lifting it up. Tighten the legs up so it does not drop. Turn the screw clockwise. Pushing the tripod legs out. Push the center platform down. Depending on the height of the object you film, loosen the screws at the top by turning them anti-clockwise. <sighs> Lift the tripod up and use two people for extra safety. Remember to tighten the screws up by turning them clockwise. Make sure the bubble is in the middle, then loosen off the screw underneath. Tilt the head until the bubble is in the middle. Once the bubble is in the middle, tighten up the screw. Welcome to Gate Set People. Today we are going to show you how to set up the lights. First we are going to get the lights out. This is the light. Put the lights carefully on the floor. Unwind the wire. Take the tripod out of the box. Turn the bottom screw anti-clockwise. Pull the legs out. Tighten the screw clockwise. Place the tripod on the floor. Turn the middle screw anti-clockwise. Carefully lift the light up. Tighten the screw clockwise. Make sure the screw is loosened. Push in the peg. Place the light on top of the tripod. Tighten the screw clockwise. Depending on the object you fill them, loosen the top screw anti-clockwise. Lift the pole up above the object. Use two people for extra safety. Tighten the top screw clockwise. Plug the light into the socket or extension. Open the barn doors. Loosen both screws by turning them anti-clockwise. Move the lights towards the object. Tighten both screws by turning them clockwise. Switch the light on by pressing the button down. If the light needs to be brighter, turn the knob right. After filming, turn the light off and wait for the bulb to cool down. Repeat the process for other lights. Welcome to Gator People. Today we are going to show you how to set up and use the shotgun microphone. This is a shotgun microphone. This is a windshield cover. You can use these especially when it's windy outside. Place the windshield cover over the top area of the microphone. At the bottom of the microphone you will see three pins. These are called XLR pins. This is an XLR lead which goes in the bottom of the microphone. Mash the pins up on the XLR lead and microphone, then push them together until it clicks. At the other end of the lead, you will see a mini jack. The mini jack is plugged into the camcorder where the letters say MIC. Turn the mic on by pushing up the switch. 
possible health and safety hazards. Be careful not to trip over the XLR cable. Tape the cable down. When holding the microphone, hold the stem firmly. Do not hold the wires at the bottom because they could get damaged. 